Well, the first thing I'd like to do is, is to congratulate you. I think what you've achieved in the space of one year is absolutely incredible. And um, I know that you battle. The whole intellectual property right issue is, is, is an ongoing battle. Um, and there are, very, there are not that many people who understand that for UCT, this is one of the best marketing tools we have. And, you know, at the executive level, we do understand that, and that is one of the reasons as a university why we are so behind what you're doing. And in addition, we're behind what you're doing for all the reasons of um, being an Afropolitan university, all the reasons for being uh, a university that has, uh, wants to have a social footprint, and um, open content does all of those things. It's a re it really is a win-win uh, idea. So as you say, it puts us up there with MIT. It makes people want to come to UCT uh, because they're familiar with our materials. And for all the universities on our continent who don't have uh, the kind of access uh, to materials, um, to knowledge, we're sharing that with them. And so, I can't tell you how enthusiastic and supportive I am of, of what you're doing. So that, that's the first thing I wanted to say. Um, and then just to really emphasize that, you know, in Africa, you can't believe what some universities um, have to put up with. I recently visited um, uh, Dar es Salaam last week. And that's a relatively well-resourced university, but uh, to be able to access material, to be able to have the independence and control of that, uh, that access is, is something that students just value really, really highly. Um, I think the fact that UCT's objectives are to be an international university with an Afropolitan niche speaks very directly to what um, CET is doing and, and the Open Content Project. <clears throat> the materials that um, are being produced have African content. They um, are valuable not only for people in Africa, but people wanting to know and understand Africa. <clears throat> so, you know, really exciting stuff being used by universities in Europe and America as well as um, on the continent. So it couldn't be more center stage in terms of our strategic goals. And I think it's worth saying at this point that we really do need to, to thank our academic staff who have engaged with the project for their generosity. And I can see a couple of them here in, in the room. It's what you've done is wonderful. There's the social responsiveness aspect people who've put up textbooks or written textbooks for open content because they think students are having to pay too high a price for their texts. Um, people who are, are generously sharing their knowledge, their insights, uh, the way they organize their material. So I want to make a special um, thank, say a special thank you to the academics who've engaged and led the way, done the demonstration effect, uh, demonstration projects. Um, <coughs> I think uh, open content has been, um, on its own, is fantastic. It's, um, it's got its own life, its own um, raison d'etre to develop a scholarly community. But it's also going to be very much part of a broader project um, that we have recently received money uh, funding for. And this project is um, called Open UCT. And the idea is to bring together um, under one uh, umbrella, if you like, the various ways in which UCT faces the world. And so um, while today we're celebrating the teaching and learning resources, um, this broader initiative is hopefully going to give greater profile to the teaching and learning efforts and join them up with the profile we have, the web-based profile we have, 
in relation to research and in relation to social responsiveness. So this key initiative um, plans to further UCT's mission as, a, as an academic meeting point between South Africa, Africa and, and the world. It's, um, it comprises, and I'm going to read this because I, I won't say it as elegantly otherwise, it comprises an integrated online presence that will allow faculty, staff, students to share educational resources, research and professional expertise with each other and with wider learning communities at home and internationally. So it's a very broad strategic project which will involve a website, a campaign and the creation of a scholarly community. Open UCT aims to weave together and coordinate a number of existing and proposed projects. So we already have existing projects, for example, in the library, digitalizing resources. We have existing projects like open content. We have uh, developing projects like, I've forgotten the name of it, but the, um, someone might have to help me, the, the social responsiveness one. Um, knowledge co-op. Knowledge co-op, yes. <laughs> it's changed several times now, I've forgotten which one we were in. So, and the knowledge co-op, which is um, a portal which will, will uh, be the one through which we engage NGOs, the community, uh, and people who want to access uh, UCT expertise and commission research from it. So Open UCT will weave together these um, existing and proposed projects into an accessible web portal that will increase access, visibility and exposure to a comprehensive range of uh, knowledge resources. Open UCT builds on a significant investment on uh, the part of UCT in a web renewal process which is underway under the auspices of ICTS um, <coughs> and uh, comms and marketing. And this uh, is the foundation on which we can build uh, something that's more targeted and direct. Uh, we have, thanks to generous funding from Mellon, uh, the possibility now of taking this forward over a number of years. Uh, so I'm very excited about it. I am, I am envisaging CET and open content being centrally involved in it and, uh, and, and hope that we can get out of the, some of the silos that often uh, we build around ourselves, um, often for convenience rather than any other reason pragmatism, but to be able to join up uh, how we present UCT to the world. So I wish you huge success in what you're doing. I uh, welcome you into that broader initiative as key partners and, um, and congratulations once again for you.